Hey guys, what's up? Bringing you another video. Today we are going to look at my uh, bug out bag, three day bag, survival bag, whatever you want to keep or call it, a uh, car kit. Basically it's just a bag of some things that I can use to get me by if I were to get stranded or whatever the case might be. Um, the bag itself, I had this bag for quite some time. Um, I got it back whenever I was fairly new and starting into scouting. Um, so I got it when I was about probably 14 or 15. And I don't remember where I got it from. I'm pretty sure I got it from Academy. That's where I got most of my bags from were Academy. Uh, may have possibly Walmart, but I, I believe it was Academy. And I am not seeing any kind of a brand, any kind of logo. Anywhere, I searched all over this bag before I started the video because I don't remember what brand it is. I wanted to say a Smith & Wesson, but my other bag is a Smith & Wesson. I don't think this one is. So, anybody knows what kind of bag this is, uh, let me know because I, I don't remember. Uh, so, starting with the outside, or uh, let's just start with the bag itself. It's got a lot of organization, a lot of different pockets uh, that you can that you can have um, and I was actually getting this one mixed up with all my others yeah um, so it has this little uh, these two little outside pockets that are kind of not really main compartments um, people call these like little admin pouches or pockets or something like that and they have molly uh, webbing on them all down and this one has two rows um, all down it. So uh, this one's a little bit bigger than this one, obviously. So it has more molly. Uh, there's more molly on the side of it here and on the other side, right here, which you can't really see because I got a compression strapped. And then there's also a row of molly down here on the bottom. Uh, I know it's it's hard to see and it's black and everything. And hopefully soon I can figure out why I can't actually upload videos to YouTube, I have to use YouTube's thing. I know why. I'm just trying to get it fixed. Uh, it's an iOS thing. So, I can't do any edits or anything right now. Um, it has six different compression straps, I believe. It has two on either side. Makes four. And then two more down here. So, five and six. Um, and then, on here, it does have a chest strap and it does come with a, um, a a strap down here, like a belt or a uh, waist strap. Um, but I took that off. I just I don't really use them a whole lot in these kind of packs, um, especially for one that I'm just usually keeping in my car. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. Um, since we're back here already, we'll start with this pocket. This is actually made for a camel pack. Um, I don't have any camel packs because I bought like probably three or four and I couldn't never get any of them to actually work um, Actually, there's a little tag right here. Let's see No, that just says multi-tech So I never have bought any more because I can't never get liquid to come out of the straw I think I'm just buying crappy ones, but I don't know. I kind of gave up on them. So that's what this is nice solid velcro um, all I keep down in here, I don't keep much because I like to keep my back pretty clear. Um, I keep some extra Ziploc baggies um, for storing food or water or other stuff that I don't want to, uh, to get wet. A couple different sizes here. And by the way, when you're sticking your hand down here, this rough Velcro really, really kind of will, will bite you. Some more different size baggies here. Huh. Small little clips. Didn't know that was in there. Um, I haven't actually opened this bag up in quite some time. To actually... Uh, I can't get them all out. I don't have a whole lot of them, but I got some small little zip ties. Uh, you never know when you're going to need the zip ties. They can come in handy for pretty much anything. Um, 
so I just keep a few of them back here. They're not the big ones. I do have big ones I might throw in here. I think I used to have big ones, but I used them. Um, but I got some small ones. I'll probably end up throwing some big ones in there as well. And that's all I keep in there. Like I said, I like to keep it pretty flat right there. Um, that way I don't really have some bulge in my back because that would not be comfortable. And like I said, I really hate using that pocket because it just eats you up. Okay, so moving to the front. Um, in this pocket here, I keep small little go-to things. Uh, things I might use often or things I might uh, need a little faster. Um, so, I keep some rope, uh, just a little thing of paracord right here, uh, and some rope. This is, I want to say, probably five or six feet of rope. I have a small signaling mirror, one of those little saws. Um, basically, you un unravel it here, you put these in your fingers. And saw it like that. A CPR barrier mask. A compass. A whistle. Small little pocket knife. And this is some water purification tablets. And I believe that's all that's in there, yes. Um, so like I said, these are just small little things that... Um, will go get used quite frequently. I might need in a hurry, such as signaling mirror or the whistle or the CPR barrier mask. Just things I'll need in a hurry, things I'll use frequently and stuff like that. Um, obviously water purification tablet might need that frequently. Um, and, and, and then stuff like this, it's just, it's a small pocket to keep all the small things in. That way I'm not having to dig around for small things in a big or huge pocket. Um, moving down, unclip these. Moving down, I keep kind of uh, an assortment of different things. I keep a knife. Uh, this is a very old knife that was handed down to me my stepfather gave it to me. Uh, Winchester. Some mosquito repellent because I hate mosquitoes and they're pretty bad at a lot of places where I went camping. Um, so I always kept it in my packs and whenever I got out of scouting I just kind of threw it in here. Uh, keep some pens, a pencil and a marker and and here, this is actually, I believe it was a multi-tool pouch or a, it might have been a, uh, uh, a sharpening stone pouch. So in here is essentially a survival kit inside of a survival kit. And what I mean by that is it's got all of the basic necessities. Um, you got rope, um, some twine there. I'm not sure how long that is. It's probably about 10 foot ish. Uh, these are, I believe, water purification. Yes, water purification. Right here is a fishing kit. It's got fishing line, um, some hooks, some weights, uh, one of those little rubber lures, uh, and the fishing line's all spooled up in that little thing. And uh, I think that's about all that's in there. Um, I didn't put this together. It came in something. I don't remember what it came in. Uh, so this is really just all tucked away right here. Got some wires or some wire. Uh, again, it's just something that, you know, tie down stuff is very, very pertinent to making shelters. So it's always good to have multiple different um, types and just a lot of it. 
got a small little compass. I have two different flint and stones that I keep in here just to kind of keep them together. Um, so two different types here. And they both work pretty well. I believe that should be all that's in there. Yes. Um, so essentially, you know, you got pretty much everything you would need. Um, you have fire in here. You have um, sources to make uh, to make a shelter out of things. You have a water supply. Um, again, this is broad. You, if you've come across some water, you have a water supply. If you come across, I mean, if you're in the woods, you know, you got tinder all around you. Uh, you have a way of collecting food if you're around a stream or something. And you have navigation. So essentially, it's a small, uh, a small kit inside of a kit. The reason why this is all like this is when I went camping or whatever, I used to always keep this in the bag. So I would have whatever I might need for that particular camp out, whatever train or whatever we're doing. And I mean, I would always have this just in case. And of course for small game hunting or, or whatever, if you want to make trap or, you know, whatever, you got a good knife. Um, also for cleaning up fish. Right here, I have toilet paper that is rolled up on a really cheap um, multi-tool knife, um, kind of like a Swiss Army knife, uh, that style of a knife. Okay, moving on to um, the next pocket. Uh, it's not a, quite a full-size pocket, but it is a, a pretty good size. It, it is a full-size pocket. It goes all the way down, but uh, I mean the zippers don't go all the way down. Um, so it's not going to open up all the way. In here, I keep kind of a more like a kitchen type supplies. More like. Um, I got water. Uh, water canteen. Uh, there's not water in it right now. Uh, one of the things I've come across is they will tend to leak you know after just being tossed around for months or whatever but I do keep them in here um, as far as food supply right now uh, the only thing I have are these little oatmeal packets I don't have any of the uh, like instant meals or MRI or I'm sorry MREs or you know the trail trail meals or stuff like that I don't have any I used to have a couple in here, but I ate them just to see how good they were. Um, but I do have some, that was kind of loud. I do have some food in here if I can't provide my own. Um, I have a can opener. I really don't remember why I put this in here. Um, I think this was one of those things that I put in there whenever I was going uh, camping. Because like I said, I used to use this as a camping bag. As well as my my big bag with all my stuff, um, more like a little pack I could just take with me. But I think that's why I threw that in there because I bought this specifically for camping. But you know, whatever. You never know, huh? It doesn't take up any room. I have a poncho. Um, these are meant to be discarded, usually after one one round because they're so cheap. And I mean, these are like ninety nine cents. Um, but you can reuse them, so I do keep a little poncho in there. I used to always keep that in my back pocket uh, whenever I was out on kind of a odd terrain where it's going to be a lot of moisture. Here is a mirror. This one is more of a flexible type mirror. I just keep this little cloth on it. This is actually an Eagle Scout cloth that came with a uh, with some kind of a memorabilia type kit or something that someone bought me um, so I just keep that in there to keep it from getting scratched up because the more it gets scratched up the uh, the less effective it'll be 
and a sharpening rod for the knobs. This here is a This here is basically a stove. Well, I haven't even messed with this thing in so long. Um, so I think what this is, I think it's called petroleum, petroleum jelly or something like that. I don't remember. sets up just like this then you would unscrew this take it out first this stuff's been in here for so long that it just kind of bench around it. There, that's how it goes. I haven't used this thing in a while if you can't tell. Ah. So you just open this up here and it's got some stuff in there. You set this it's on top like that. Just like so, um, it'll start, make a little fire. Um, sorry, you can't really see that. And just like that, I have more. And you can see this stuff uh, is a very soft aluminum. It bends easy. It's not very durable. Uh, basically, it has this wing nut right here. You can turn that around. Take the lid off. And I'll show you all these components that it has. So, this is your frying pan. And, um, like I said, very light. So the handle really kind of outweighs it, but when you have food in there, it might uh, would stay down. You can you can take this handle off if you need. Just kind of shake this back. Okay, this is a bowl. You could also cook on it. Like I said it's all aluminum. Here is a pot, and there is a, yes, it's still in here. There's a little cup in here. So you can boil water, make a little stew. You got a nice little lid. And it does have a cup. This should measure out to one cup or half a cup. Shit. Uh, or half a cup. It's got measurements inside here. Uh, one cup. So this measures out to one cup. You can use this for measuring. Also, you can use it for another, for drinking. Now this is plastic, so you can't, uh, you can't like heat up your coffee on, on the stove directly like this. So, uh, I I want to try to keep this video kind of quick. Um, I know it's not going to be quick, but I mean we're already at 20 minutes and we're not even halfway through. Um, but in another video, I, I will pull the stuff out. And we'll probably cook something on it and see how it goes. Because uh, I haven't used this in a very long time. Uh, as you can see, I almost forgot how to set it up. And uh, so that, that'll be something we'll have to do in another video. Just take this stuff out and, and show you guys. So, for time's sake, just gonna set it up there. Um, so I got this from Academy, I am pretty sure, uh, around 20 or $30 mark, somewhere around there. Uh, like I said, I have had this stuff for a very long time, I don't remember prices. I got this at Walmart, they're really not super expensive. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's just something for, for another video. 
Um, what I keep in there, in this little bag with it, is matches. I have a lot of fire supply. Um, that's a very important thing. These are uh, actually matches out of MRI. Or I don't know why I keep calling it MRI. MRE, I think it was because I was at the hospital the other day. Um, and it's got a striker pad right here. Probably isn't the best, but it, it does still work. At least last time I, I tried it. I keep that in there just because, you know, that's where fire is. I keep a thing of matches in there. Uh, let's toss all this. Um, I don't think I talked about this, but I do keep a multi-tool. Just a cheap one from Walmart. Uh, let's see what brand this is. I think it's Craftsman. What is it? people not putting their brand names on here anyways uh, it's got a little flashlight it probably does not work uh, doesn't appear that it's going to work uh, so the flashlight needs batteries uh, just like any other multi-tool the pliers uh, got a couple different accessories right here a knife a shredded knife shredded knife straight blade um, a little bottle opener, um, a little pick, you know, just things that are normally on there. So, I'm toss all this stuff back real quick. I'll reorganize it after the video. Since I can't edit, it's really annoying. Um, part of the reason is I'm never connected to, I know it's with the iOS 12, I believe. But I'm never connected to Wi-Fi because I don't have Wi-Fi here. And at the office, the Wi-Fi is kind of crappy. So I need to update my phone, the iOS. Maybe that will fix it. Um, moving into the big main compartment. This one will open up. Right here, I keep clothes. Um, a lightweight jacket. Uh, a lightweight t-shirt and a normal cotton t-shirt um, usually I'll have this stuff like Ranger Road or uh, there's multiple different names to it but that's kind of just what I call it um, and have some uh, lightweight these are Wrangler outdoor uh, pants they're uh, they're not uh, they're like a polyester material and they are kind of a cargo type pants. Um, if you check out my 511 uh, tactical pant video, I do kind of talk about these for a split second. I talk about the, uh, the khaki ones that I used to always wear. So I keep two pairs of those pants in there. Another water supply. Uh, this one can strap onto my belt. Uh, this thing can completely come out. And this one is plastic. Uh, that one is a aluminum, and it's got this on. Supposed to help keep it cool. Do you have a hatchet? Um, a little bit heavy, uh, maybe unneeded, but whenever you need it, it's gonna come in handy. Um, I have used this thing a decent amount, and. For taking down small trees or whatnot, for shelters, really, really good tool. Plus, if you need a hammer, just use the backside. Um, I do keep a small ball cap in here. I am really not a hat guy, to be honest. Um, I got this whenever we went to Spike Box. Um, it was a hunting ranch that we went to. Really, really cool spot. Uh, and this was one of the hats they gave us. So, I'm not really a hat person, but this is a really, really lightweight hat. Um, out in the sun and whatnot, it's really going to help you out. Do you keep a cup um, with a carabiner? Uh, difference between a cup and a bottle is dramatically. Um, you know, you can use this for, for coffee or whatever and keep your water. Or if you want something else. Uh, very very hard plastic um, 
I don't know exactly what kind of plastic it is, but they're very, very durable. Um, really cool. What I didn't do it to this one. I think I have another one that we've done it to. But we had a brander, and um, that was one of the things we done was we branded these cups. So they're really durable. I do keep fluorescent orange. This is a really cheap hunter's vest. Um, I don't use this one. I like my other vest because this is just kind of crappy. Um, I do keep this in here just in case, you know, especially if you're stranded, um, you want to be not camouflaged and bending, blending in because you want your goal is to be found. So that's nice to have. Um, inside this pocket, it has a small little pocket right here. I just keep hygiene type stuff in here. So I have some sunscreen. This is uh, 30 SPF, so not very high, but small little thing of sunscreen uh, will go well because I had, and I did use sunscreen, but I had a really, really bad sunburn. It turned into second degree burns. For those of you who don't know, a, uh, there's three different degrees of burn, first, second, third, third being the worst. Every single sunburn would be considered first degree burn. That's the redness of the skin. Second degree would be, oh, ah, oh, crap. <laughs> okay, there's a small little hole in this, and that just went up my nose. Um, anyway, a second degree would be blistering of the skin, so that's what I had all over my back and everything. Uh, great, good to know that that is open, and that just gave me a flashback of summer, having that shoved up in my nose. Um, toothbrush and toothpaste and deodorant right here um, it's very good to you can see these are pretty similar in size and color um, you would not want to get those confused that would be terrible wow uh, that's all that I keep in there um, and then the last bit of this pocket is there is this uh, mesh pocket up here Oh man, that sunscreen is killing me. Um, so I keep a belt. This belt is actually a little bit too big for me, so uh, it doesn't hurt me not having it in there. I used to never wear belts until I got to like my teenage years, and now I just feel weird leaving the house without a belt. Um, so if for some reason I don't have a belt, which if I have something with belt loops on, I guarantee I'm gonna have a belt. Um, but this will help if I, for whatever reason, don't have a belt when I'm wearing my pants. We have a, another fixed blade knife, another Winchester. Um, and this one has a, a hook. Really good for deer. And so is the other one. I think that's what we actually used to skin my first deer. Or fill dress it. I'm sorry, not skin it. Um, and here I have this field book. This is something I got in scouting. Uh, I think it was a gift. Basically, it's like a guide or a reference book. It's got everything. I mean, everything that you would need to know about the wilderness, basically. Um, through my... 10 or so, 8 or so years, I'm not sure, uh, how, however many years I was in Scouts, <laughs> all the way to the Trail of Eagle, um, I basically learned pretty much everything in here. But it is a good, quick reference book, especially for different types of shelters, um, different types of plants that are edible, non-edible. Um, the only plant that I actually ate was uh, they call it mustard grass. I don't remember the actual technical term of it. And it was, it's nasty, nasty. So this is just a quick reference guide to anything, different types of animals, plants, uh, different types of shelters, what to do and stuff. So, uh, and you can see here on the front, it's got different uh, 
and it's got a picture so you know of different seasons and, and terrains and everything. So it really goes into detail on your specific season and terrain. Uh, anyways, enough of that. Keep a headlamp. Of course, batteries are dead. Um, a, a good thing with these is to not even keep the batteries in them, which might be the case here. No, the batteries are in there. Uh, but a good thing with, with this stuff is to not even keep the batteries in there to keep them from running dead. But, oh well. This is my fire kit. I have abundance of different stuff in here. Um, a lot of different lint um, out of the dryer. Really good stuff for making fire. Um, I think I've used pretty much all of the lint, but see, I got some. So, I mean, that's one thing that you can do. It's free. Um, after you're done drying your clothes, just get that lint, put it in a plastic baggie. This stuff will light in a hurry. Um, it's, it's actually more lightable than uh, cotton balls, but got some cotton balls. This right here is a special type of, it's like, I don't know, it came in this little kit and it feels like a rope almost, but it's, it's a cotton type material. These are little wicks, uh, of course a lighter and a deal of matches in a waterproof case. Got a whole bunch of matches and one thing that's stupid and I guess it's not really, I guess it makes sense kind of, but the striker is on the bottom. So I think they probably should have put it inside here. I know it wouldn't be as much striking room, uh, but these little cases are, are pretty nice. They hold a decent amount of matches. Um, and they're pretty durable for the most part. The only thing that's broke on this is the thing that holds the cap on there. This little piece that holds the cap on there after you unscrew it. So that is all that I keep in here. Now, I already know a lot of people are going to say, well, Anthony, you don't have any first aid. That's true. I have no first aid in here. Um, why? Well, first off, uh, and if you hadn't checked out the video of a first aid kit, go ahead. I think it was probably about two or three, maybe four videos ago. Um, I did an update on my first aid kit. Um, I actually have two two videos on my first aid kit up. One of them is an update, and I've done it pretty recently. Um, I keep that in my car with this. This I keep in my trunk. That I keep in my back seat for faster access. Um, and... Again, everything in here, if you know how to how to use this stuff, everything in here is a first aid kit. I have pressure, okay? It's not gonna be the best, but I also have rope for bleed control. I have shirts, bleed control. You know, I have things that I can, I can use. I have ropes, I'm out in the wilderness, I have sticks, I have a splint. You know, it's so it's just a matter of what kind of training you have, what knowledge you have, what experience you have, uh, and plus, like I said, this is always in the car with a full trauma kit. Almost, I wouldn't say a trauma kit. I would, I would say a very well, um, a very well put together uh, first aid kit, uh, a a big, big first aid kit. Um, so I think. As far as that goes, I would be pretty much covered. Respiratory, I have a mask um, for that. And like I said, you know, one of the biggest things that could happen in the wilderness would be that you would need a first aid for would be um, water for dehydration, um, shade for heat exhaustion, fire for, uh, for, for being cold, for frostbite whatnot, got that. Uh, shade, you can make shade. Uh, one thing I do need to put back in here, I had a space blanket, um, but I have one of those in my first aid kit. Um, 
so you can build a shade out of that or build a shelter rope for a tourniquet um, rope and sticks for for that kind of stuff uh, so uh, broken uh, broken bones or, or stuff like that uh, twisted up ankle you know I could very easily cut this up and make an ankle brace out of it uh, you know so it's just things that you you got to improvise um, and what I have here, I could very easily take this out and be confident enough if I were to injure myself, I could use the stuff in here and reuse them in a different way for that. So that's this video. I know it's super long. Um, hopefully I can get my phone updated and then I'll make another video and see if I will be able to upload it. Um, if anyone else has had these issues with this iOS thing, um, then let me know. Another thing that I could do here, um, and I was thinking about this before I started the video, I have another backpack that has a pistol, uh, a pistol holsters on both sides. I don't have a dedicated pistol to keep in here, um, but you could very easily, you know, put a pistol down in here, um, you know, just right here. It will fit fine. So, you could put a pistol in there if need be, uh, but I don't have a dedicated one for this. So that's all for this video. I wish I knew what brand this bag was. Um, I want to say it's probably Smith & Wesson because I really liked their products. Uh, it may, it doesn't look like Ozark Trail bag. Uh, no offense to them, but I don't think I've ever seen anything kind of this durable and this tactile. But, uh, yeah, if you guys know what kind of bag this is, please let me know. I've had this for probably a good 15, well, probably not 15 years, probably about 10, 10, 11, 12 years. So I've had it for quite some time, though. Um, but anyways, that is all for now. We will see you in the next one. And, uh, oh, I feel like I forgot something about this bag. I don't know. I just keep getting it confused with that other bag, I think. So that's all. We'll see you next time.